poem called Camp Town. Which began, you know the song. Camp Town ladies sing this song? No. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Camp Town. Flesh or fable, either one. Far be it from me. Please yourself, we came along the hill's shoulder from the lowest point or field, nothing now. And I imagined as we walked that perhaps a monster could walk over similarly, could scale the wall as it were. But Camp Town's almost untenable. It's barely haunted. Whose fault is that? Form is harsh. Form's just a hull. A monster could slip across a bridge in the wee hours when traffic's not heavy from one place or another to Camp Town. Please yourself. I was a ship on the stormy ocean. Stay off me, brother. I might be a monster, but neither will I judge you. Camp Town's no, two. Camp Town's no accident, no joke, no dichotomy. But Camp Town's noisy. The parts are all out of proportion. That that makes it dangerous is weak argument or its only argument. My sense of distance gets in the way sometimes. I speak from locations, and that has got its limits. What's afoot in such, one might ask, or what has rolled in? How did we seem to appear on the dog leg up and then on the hillside? That is, what do they see first? The crocodile itself, or a monster, making a desultory retreat, nobody likes that, ahead of capture. I will level with you, Camp Town lady. I think this could dwarf us both. Three, monster lurching through, taking up, sprawled like Canada Lee over several seats on the bus. Border towns are the real deal. Camp Town's different. <laughs>